heavyweight and Mizuno back, the same program that I developed based on my two swing technique. You don't have to follow these methods with the laser strap is you can swing any way you want and still get great results in terms of the speed, the strength, precision, which equals power. We're going to work an isolation drill, the top hand heavy bat. We're working on a deep contact zone. The ball's up on you, you're facing top level pitches, and it's here. You can't hit that pitch with your typical hanging slider swing. So you have to get your hands inside the ball and you have to stay short. All right? It's a short, short swing path. When we're doing these drills, you've got to understand that they're for different contact areas. For every contact area, there's a different type of swing. If you're going to hit the ball here, it's not going to be the same swing as if you hit the ball down here. And that's not going to be the same swing as your atypical hanging breaking ball pitch, which everybody likes to practice. Now the problem is you don't get this pitch all the time. There's some good pitches out there who know how to throw it here, they know how to throw it here, and they know how to make it do this and make it do that. If you only practice this pitch, that's fine. We have no problem with that. The laser strap will make you hit that pitch harder. Top hand drill, shorten up, toss the ball to his front hip, focus on swinging the bat with his hips, and hit the ball back up the middle. We're gonna do one round, 20 swings, and on to the next hit. All right, back up a little bit. Relax, start with the elbow up high. Now drop it down like, like you're gonna hit. That's where you start from. Okay. Good. Whip the bat through, roll the bat when you feel pressure on your rear shoulder. Good. Whip it around, let it go. Slow motion, go around your body. Keep going. All right, now don't lift. There you go, flat to flat. You don't need to lift because it's high and it's hard. So you can't lift. Yeah. All right, well you miss it. Flat, hard pitch, left, flat, flat, swing plane. Okay, okay not your slider is coming down at you, where you swing up to it, yeah. and this is hard at you, any dip, you're not going to hit it. There you go, good. Don't arm it, turning your back foot from your hip. Yep. Alright, so do that motion real quick, turn your back foot with your hip, and again, quicker, 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 more turn, there you go, that's better. There you go, see the difference there, now he's quicker with his core. Spread out. You're a tall guy. So again, we're isolating that foot down position. You're starting when yeah. the ball's coming down at you, so it's an isolation grip. Good, there you go. Whip it through. Do that little hip thing again for me, turn it. There you go, and again, quicker. Okay. Quicker, Not from. don't turn it from your knee, turn it from your hip. So you turn, there's a joint there, right? That's, that yeah. can turn. That's the one you want. You need speed to take the weight off your back toe. Oh. Because you need speed and you need the right technique. Get up on that toe, up on your toe. There. There's a correlation to your back foot, right? If your back foot's halfway up, then your upper body's halfway up, and you're gonna have a tendency to fly open and pull off the ball. Back foot's up, your body's gonna be centered and have more chance of squaring up the ball. There you go, it's better. Good, flat to flat, ball's up. There you go, see that right there? So you can whip it around, it's not gonna hurt you. Right there, see the speed you get now because you're not holding up at the end. All right? You hold up the end, you slow down, you start. Good. Facing a guy that's throwing very hard fast balls coming in on you. When you do this properly, you can actually sit on this pitch. It's quite an easy pitch to hit when you get this motion down. There you go, right there. Good. There you go, right there. Excellent. Spread out a bit. Pinch your knees into the center, adduct the muscle right there. That's the one that connects to your hips, your core. You want to feel it. Good. Spread out. Pinch. There you go. Balance, right? Yeah. Not falling over. You look like a hitter. There you go. Spread out. Built for that class pitch. If you want to mix it up a bit when you're facing the guys that throw slow, you can narrow your stance and have a big long stride because you've got more time to get to the ball. But for this one, you're going to have time to get to the ball. You've got to be short. There you go, it's the pitch you want right there. Your eyes light up, yep. all right? Good. One more. Yes, sir, boy. Good. 